All right, I'm David Harry, and hopefully this is going to be one of my shorter videos. And by that, what I mean is short for me, not necessarily for someone else, because I just talk too much. Anyway, what it is, I'm going to do a very focused test for this video. And what I'm going to be testing on and focusing quite specifically on here is the line of sight problems with the Rode Wireless Go system. So right now I'm on the Rode Wireless Go. There we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start stepping off in like increments and turn around and let's see at what point I get blocked off by line of sight problems with this system. So right now I'm about four feet away and that's from the transmitter to the receiver. So what I'm going to do is turn around, uh, have me back to the camera and let's see, we should still be able to hear me okay. So there we go, I've got me back turned to the camera, that should still be all dead good and whatnot. So yes, I'm back round to the front again. So what I'm going to do is do another increment. So I'm now eight feet away from the camera or thereabouts. So once again, I will turn round with me back to the camera. So I'm blocking line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver. And let's see if you can still hear me. Okay, so this is me about eight feet away. I've got me back to the camera and whatnot. Let's just see what's going on there. And then I'll turn back round and I'll look back at the camera again. Now for the next increment. So this is about 12 feet away from the camera. Again, it's not a huge distance. So I'm hoping that we're not going to have any issues here. In fact, I hope there's going to be no issues until I get quite far away, to be honest. So what I'm going to do now is turn around. I'll be back to the camera and blocking the line of sight. Okay, so I am now blocking line of sight to the camera. Let's see if you can still hear me here or if there's any kind of glitching or anything going on with the audio. Okay, so I'll turn back around, face the camera once again, and then what I'll do, I'll go to the next increment. So I'm now about 16 feet away from the camera. Again, not a tremendous distance away from the camera. So again, I will do a little turn around and let's see if we can still hear me when I'm blocking line of sight. So I'll turn around, I've got my back to the camera. I'm gonna talk a little bit. Let's see, are we hearing me properly? Is there any little drop going on anything like that so i'll turn back around to the camera okay so i'll do another incremental step okay so there i am about 20 feet away thereabouts from the camera and again i will do a little turn around and we'll see if when i block line of sight if this is going to be affecting anything so turn around so i'm now blocking the line of sight i'll talk a little bit here can we hear anything dropping out completely dropped out or am I perfectly still audible so I'll turn back around to the camera so facing the camera and I'll do another incremental step so I'm now about 24 feet away from the camera and for my particular use that I've got in mind with the go system this is going to be the furthest away I'd probably want to do this because in all honesty all I really want to use this for whether it's using a tin-tainal mic like it is right now or whether I use a lavalier with it and as to whether or not it's me in front of the camera vlogging or talking or if I'm interviewing somebody to be honest this is the furthest distance I would want to go away from the camera anyway so as long as it kind of does everything I need to do in this type of distance here I'm great with that so once again I will turn around and let's see what what it's going to be like when I block the line of sight okay so I've now completely blocked line of sight dropping out in little bits it's completely still audible or is it like you know well, well whatever what's it doing <laughs> All right, so there we go. I've just turned around. We definitely should hear me now. Did we hear me? Was there any problems just then? So now what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a walk around in this area and kind of like, you know, turn in and around and whatnot. And let's see what happens there. So like I've just said, this area here is where I'm likely to want to be used and things. So I'm just going to kind of walk around and like have me back to the camera in bits. So right now I'm not that far away from the camera. I'm probably towards the edge of the frame or maybe going out of the frame. I walk across here. What it is, I can't really see the, the monitor that well. I'm probably towards the other edge of the frame here. So again, I will just kind of walk around back to the camera, whatever. Walk a little bit. I should still be in the field of view and all the rest of it. Maybe about around here. Yeah, say, say around here is maybe my little kind of target area. So what I'll do, I'll kind of walk around a bit. I'll put me back to the camera. Don't get me wrong, it's not a case of, you know, you're going to be walking around with your back to the camera all the time. But, you know, let, let, let's get one thing clear here. If you're if you're kind of like tracking someone with a camera and they're, they're allowed to walk within a certain distance, say you're doing a, um, a, like an on-the-fly news piece, for instance, or you're just doing some ENG or you're just doing interviewing in general or you're just doing live event work, well, you know, sometimes the subject is definitely going to be turning away from camera. I could be at an event, the camera's looking at me and then I walk over to something from the camera, turn 
and start like pointing at something at an event or something like that or I might just have a point of interest over here so I might have been looking at the camera but then I turn around and I want to like you know, point at something at the floor or point at something over here so like I say this turning away thing, it's not like I'm kind of like trying to screw with the camera and make it fail or sorry, the, the wireless system. That is actually stuff that people would definitely do. Now, if you're doing something like this, then yeah, that's not gonna be an issue, do you know what I mean? Because this is very straightforward and quite easy and whatnot. So as long as it's not gonna drop out here, you'd be laughing once you start turning around and things like that. But what I'm going to do is have a quick listen to what I've just recorded and then I'll do a bit of a summary. Okay, so to a summary, two words, piss, poor. Right, what it is, this is not a good system. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. Right, even from the shortest distance that I was on the very first test, there was one quick dropout and I was literally four feet away. And at every single step that I did, there was at least one dropout. I think when I got up to about 12 feet, it was fairly bad. Uh, other distances, it was just totally wrecking itself. And then when I did my little walk around thing as well in this little area here, and, I'm, and I've got to stress again, that is not a big distance. And I think that would be the minimum anyone would expect to like want to use a wireless system in just to go simply untethered for dialogue but when I was doing that it was dropping out all over the place it was ridiculous now the thing is you know like I say I th that wasn't even a stress on the system or it shouldn't have been because I did kind of like you know validate that particular thing with something very simple you could just as easily be somewhere where you're following somebody like I was saying and that person might be like looking at things do you know what I mean turning around and having to quit have a look at something and turn back to camera these things are not uncommon so this system is absolutely terrible for that honestly it, it I, I just don't understand how people have not gone mad about this it's ridiculous <laughs> right now I'm not going to get all kind of screwed up and bent out of shape about it too much but the one thing that I will say is that I think Rode have been extremely disingenuous about their advertising for this system because they advertise a particular distance where they say it will go up to in direct line of sight. In fact, just give me one second. So just to prove the point that I'm talking about, about direct line of sight, I'm a considerable distance away here. And to be honest, I would never go this far away, but for those who would want to come this far away, they can do as long as they're in direct line of sight. I'll start walking back to the camera now. But basically, that's all well and good, and Rode publish a figure which definitely does work as a direct line of sight. But what I think is that Rode have been extremely disingenuous to the customers or any potential purchasers of this camera. Because what happens is, that's okay saying you can go like a zillion feet away in direct line of sight, but that's not gonna help most people. What Rode would, should really have done was to have kind of put in like some kind of minimum line of sight distance if it's being blocked especially by the person wearing the lavalier system which is unbelievably kind of like i don't know i, I, I would like to think there was nothing nefarious going on there but if road turned around and said yes listen you can go about 70 meters away in direct line of sight and it'll pick you up great which it does but then if they kind of like kind of followed that with like yeah, but if you go about eight feet away and turn around you're gonna have problems they definitely wouldn't be selling any it's as simple as that so basically this is the reason why i'm saying it's piss poor because there's no way that anyone can do anything like within a, a reasonable distance a reasonably short distance as well by turning around and whatnot and i did make the point and i think it was a very good point that you know you could be the operator behind the camera and you're focusing on a subject who may be at like a trade show or something for instance or an event an outdoor event you could just be walking around doing certain things all kinds of live things you do where you've got no control over whether someone's always going to stay permanently looking straight at the camera and therefore in direct line of sight and even at the shortest of distances you know it was dropping out all over the place it's absolutely useless for that in fact the very first distance that I'd done there was one very quick dropout on it and there was quick dropouts and other things and when I got to about 16 feet 20 feet it was useless you know and obviously useless in this short distance so as far as I'm concerned you know road should really kind of start like remarketing this system or be completely 
completely honest about it. Now, the thing is, bottom line, am I going to send it back and get my £179 back off Amazon? Well, absolutely not, no. And I know I've been kind of, sounds like I've been bashing it and slating it, but here's the reason why I'm not going to send it back. Because, for the very simple fact that there's probably one or two very specific uses for this system where it's perfect for it, as in this right now. So if you have got a use for a lavalier system, whether it's the internal mic or whether you might want to like put in a lavalier, actually it is another thing. If you put a lavalier in, whatever you do, do not put the transmitter unit in someone's back pocket, it won't work. You know, you're gonna to have to keep it on the front, in the front pocket, and even then, it's gonna start going maybe inside clothing. That will have a slight effect on it, and judging by how quickly it drops off, that signal will get diminished very quickly, even with just clothing. So you have to be very, very careful. So I would say that the only guaranteed success you're gonna have with this system is to use it like this, wearing it, and not everyone wants to wear tech on themselves like this i've only done it for convenience right now but my well the most of my use that i'm going to have for this hopefully is to use lavaliers plugged into it in which case like i just said i'm going to have to be very careful as to where to position the transmitter so like i say for the very limited use that someone might have then fair dues it's brilliant for that it's great i think it's a fantastic system it's plus points are massive as well because it's tiny it's portable it's dead easy to use and um, let's see the internal batteries i've heard people moan about the batteries and you know maybe they're going to run out in like four years time or something like that well if i got four years use out of this for instance i'd be dead made up with that i wouldn't have a problem with it so all them things i think are brilliant about the system but anyway i'm gonna have to wrap this up because um you know the chances are i'm probably pissing people off with this video because what it is when you show these things a lot of people get all bent out of shape with it you know what i mean because like they don't want to know something crap about something that they've just bought well unfortunately i'm sorry but it is shit and and that's the only one word i can i can use for it. it's it is shit you know for certain stuff but anyway for those who did find this video interesting consider giving it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and all that stuff and for all those people who are probably going to be sitting there going i'm not having him telling me that my road wireless system is shit who are going to give me a thumbs down then also i've got to say to you people is F you anyway so i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now